Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and today I'm joined by Chris Pinder, CEO of HD Anywhere. So we're going to talk about a very simple solution for you guys, one that we come across day in, day out, and this is how do we extend the HMI signal from a height vision DVR or NVR across a network cable to a monitor. So we have the HDMI cable using a HD Anywhere cable straight out the back of the NVR. This is a three meter HDMI cable. Okay, ready? In my hand. And we're gonna use a HDMI cable from that monitor. And in between, we're gonna use the extender, 2K, 60 meter. 2K60. A 2K60. Yeah. So we've already set the output of the NVR to 1080p, so that's really important. Um, if you've got it set to 4K like I did, make sure it's set to 1080p. So we're going to open the box up. If you had it set on 4K, you would just... You'd use one of the other ones, yeah. So you get a manual, some IR cables, plus the power supplies, yeah. and two ends. Yeah. So Chris is going to take one end, and I'm going to take the other end. I need the end marked RX, and you need the end marked TX. So look at that, it's like we planned it. Yeah. So again, look at the little vents on the side, just to point that out. Matches the branding. Yeah, that's nice, I like yeah. it. So I've got the transmitter, I'm going to connect my HDMI output from my Hikvision NVR, which is set at 1080p, into the HDMI input here. It's worth pointing out that there's a HDMI out on here, because you can loop and daisy chain them. Oh, right, okay, yeah. so you can have many of these units showing the same yeah, thing effectively. And that's connected to here. Recorder. So we've got the 12 volt power supply, we're going to connect it into the DC 12 volt supply here, and power it up. It's worth noting on this particular model, we're powering one end, which is the transmit end. On a lot of the other models, you can power it either end. It's up to you how you power it. But on this particular model, it's at the transmit end, but it is only at one end, and it will power this unit over the Cat5. Talking of Cat5. And this is plugged in now, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, that that's in. plugged Sneakily in. Sneakily in the background. Talking yeah. of Cat5s, yeah. you take your end of Cat5. Okay. I'm going to take my end of the 20 meter Cat5. I'm in. We're going to plug it in and establish a connection. And hopefully, there we go, it's that quick. It's now talking from the recorder directly to that monitor. Over this long cable. No loss of quality. No loss of quality, 1080p, up to 60 meters. Obviously, Cat6 is recommended for the 60 meters. This is standard Cat5, so which is why it's not 60 meters. But as simple as that, little securing lugs. You can secure it in place where it's fitted so it doesn't rattle around or disconnect. And, and of course, have, that's the IR receiver cable that would go by the TV, that's the transmit that would go on the MVR. And then, if you use the MVR remote, remote control, it at would the TV location. send it through to that, and then you can obviously change it using the control. And it okay. is as simple as that. Simple, simple, simple. Please contact your DVS sales rep. We keep this in stock, they'll give you a price, and we'll sell you lots of HD anywhere stuff. Thank you, Chris, for joining me again for another no video, and we look forward to more content moving forward. Stay safe, guys.